Hey, this is Kyle from CompuLove, and today I'm going to try to put Windows uh, 11 on this Lenovo Chromebook. So it might be very sluggish, it might not work properly, but I'm going to do it anyway. My one buddy <laughs> bought this for 220 bucks, and I'm like, no way, I wouldn't have spent more than like 100 bucks for this thing. Like, it's like not even that big. Like, look at this thing. It's like, it has like a, like an Intel seller on it, with like two threads and like two gigabytes of RAM. So it's like, is this even going to run at all? <laughs> well, we'll find out. So first thing I'm going to do is, uh, there's me. I don't want this to turn on. I need to remove this uh, screw, right, right protect screw on the back of it. So that's what I was about to do. So I'm going to do that. All right. After much struggling, I got it. Got it open. And so I was looking around the board, and I think this may be the right. You have to, like, remove a screw to disable the right protection thing to be able to... Uh, Get the new, get the firmware, like the Chrome OS firmware off of the, uh, of the thing. So I'm going to try to remove this sticker, which is a real pain in the ass. This sort of like scratch at it or something. But you have to remove a certain screw, which I'm still trying to figure out which one. All right, I'm going to continue struggling. And then I'll be back when I get some sort of information on which screw I'm supposed to remove for the read-write protection. And I checked the website. There's a certain website I checked, and it told you where, if it was a screw or whatever. So this would come on. Uh, so the N22 slash N23 right there. This one is a, a write protect method. I think that's what it means. WP method is a screw. So I got to find that where that is. So yeah, let me uh, keep trying, I guess. All right. So I was watching a video. This kind gentleman right here, he circles it right there. That I, That's what I thought was the, the right screw, but I already took this, the uh, sticker off, but it's this one. So I got to remove that screw and then put it back together. All right, so I enable developer mode, and this says the system is transitioning to developer mode. Local data has been cleared, and I've been following this nice video right here. Shout out to Brandon Yen. So I'm following his video. Oh, it's preparing. System for developer mode. This may take a while. So the way I did it was uh, I just pressed the escape key, this key, or the refresh key, and then the power key or the uh, power button for a few seconds. And then it came up with this thing um, where it says like no boot thing found or whatever. And then you press control D. Um, yeah. If you really want a fucking guy, just watch this guy. <laughs> Cause I'm not, I'm not, I'm just doing it. Like I'm not really doing it as a very good tutorial, but just uh, documenting my journey and seeing how shittily windows 11 runs on this thing. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to wait for this thing. I'm not sure that counters there. That's probably how long it's going to take or whatever. But yeah, I'll be back. All right, so I'm back in the the system thingy. So according to this guy, we're supposed to press Control-Alt-T to get in this shell thingy. And then you type shell. Okay, I got this. And then... For this process, you'll need to be connected to the internet. Let me connect to the internet. Command that's on screen. It's a big ass this command. Download the script. We need to flash the firmware. All right, I'll be back. I'm just gonna do this. I can't be asked to film all this because it's like I don't really know what I'm doing. No, <laughs> just as much as the next guy, but yeah. All right. So after putting in various commands, I got to this screen here. So. I'm guessing I have to 
do one of these things, install up to UEFI, set boot options to hardware ID, probably number two, but um, I see number one is disabled, but my firmware write protection is disabled also. So um, yeah, we'll see how this works. So I'm just going to continue trying and this is not a tutorial. This is me doing it, just documenting it. So I'm going to keep trying at it, see where I can get. All right. So I backed up the, I had to use a flash drive at the back of the firmware, I guess, in case, you know, shit happens. Potentially breaking the device, but honestly, for this thing, I'll take the risk. So now it's saying uh, installing full ROM firmware. Made it take up to 90 seconds. Wow. So yeah, I did various things. And uh, yeah, well, I'll just wait and see what happens. Oh, the first boot after flashing may be substantially longer than subsequent boots. Up to 30 seconds or more. Be patient. Eventually your disk, your device will boot. Okay. Press enter to return to the main menu. Okay. I have to figure out what to do from here. All right. So I got my USB flash drive in. And I restarted the laptop and stuff like that. And I'm in Medicat, guys. Shout out Medicat. If you guys seen my video on Medicat, there's an overview of that. But I'm trying to install Windows 10 on it because I think this thing is too weak to... Like, the specs are not good enough to install Windows 11. So I got a Windows 10 ISO right there. Also, I got Windows 11, Ubuntu, and Linux Mint. But I'm going to install Windows 10 and see if this shit works. So press Enter boot in normal mode okay let's see what happens I guess all right so apparently uh, I didn't film this but there was a little bit of a requirement for having at least 16 gigabytes of storage to install Windows 10 on this thing and apparently it let me through but uh Let's see if this thing actually installs. It says 0%. So it might take a while, I can imagine. But uh, yeah, we'll have to see <laughs> if this thing even installs. Like, bro, like it doesn't even have that much storage. It has 16 gigabits of storage, not RAM, storage on this thing. Let's just see. All right, fellas. It looks like we're in Windows 10. And... Uh, I don't think the touchpad works, so I'm pressing tab a bunch of times to get to the to the button I need. So I'm just going through the the basic Windows 10 setup for this, and it's really laggy, as I would expect. Like, I don't know how this thing is even running right now, to be honest. It's pretty much... It's kind of a miracle, but uh, it's going to make me select a network, which I'll have to do. Um... Let's just say I don't have internet right now. I just want to get to the desktop. And then if you go to coolstar.org, you can use limited setup. If you go to coolstar.org, you can download a bunch of drivers and stuff. And I think one of them is a touchpad driver for the specific um, thingy who's using this PC. I don't know, Kyle, I guess. We don't need to make a password. So, yeah, so I'm going to get all these drivers installed and then see how things run. Yeah, usually I press no to all this stuff, but since I have no mouse, I can't be, can't be asked to... Really, I can actually do this, probably. Location, no. Oh, shit. I think I, I don't know what I just did, whatever. I think I just went next, yeah. I thought I, I thought I pressed a different button. But yeah, I'll be back once it loads in. Who knows how long this will take. All right, we're in, boys. So I'm just going to try to, uh, I think I need to probably get a, a mouse because my trackpad doesn't work, but I think if I install drivers for it, you can get drivers from coolstar.org. 
and I guess once you install the driver for the trackpad, it should work. So, um, yeah, I think that's about it. I'm probably just going to end it off here. I mean, not much else to say, really. I mean, I'm in Windows, as you can see. I'm kind of surprised it worked. Kind of a miracle, but yeah, pretty dope. Pretty dope. Windows on a crappy-ass Chromebook. Hell yeah. And if you care, it's the N23, Lenovo N23.